Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Three, two, one. Stroller Strides was started in California 13 years ago. You come here, you get to work out, you sing songs, you see your child grow, we get to see your child grow, so it's a wonderful thing. When you have a baby, you come home from the hospital, you have this new child, you're kind of, you know, unsure of what's going on, you feel alone. So Stroller Strides was put together for A, getting moms fit for motherhood, and B, we're a village, we're a community. You know, moms come, they bring their children, they can work out, they don't have to worry about going to a gym and leaving their child with someone that they're maybe not sure of, or maybe they don't want to leave their child. My job is to help these mothers get fit for motherhood. So we do a lot of functional exercises that they can then take into their day-to-day -day lives. So when we're doing a squat, think about these mothers. They have these big car seats or their, their kids dropping something on the floor and they're constantly going up and down and up and down. So we want to be able to get them fit to be able to do that. We do a lot of rotations, because how many times is a kid screaming in behind you and you have to turn and you know give them their sippy cup or make sure they're okay. And we're going to Hawaii, we're going to the fair to see all the mommies with flowers in their hair. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Well, it's very important for children to learn that there's life outside of mommy and that you know there's other people that you can meet that you don't have to be scared of. You know, I'll do an, an exercise where the moms are running around and I'll say, stop where you are, grab a baby, any baby, you know, tickle their toes, make funny faces, show these children that they don't have to be scared if they can't see mommy, that it's still okay, that you know, it's someone else's mommy who's gonna, you know, take care of you at that moment. I was a monkey, I could swing to the store, swing to the store, swing to the store. Well, I love the exercise. I like the doing the hills and running up and down the hill, but I really, I like the socialization afterwards, too. For the babies, we go and we play on the playground after, and it's good for him to see other moms and babies. And yeah, I used to pretty much work out five to six days a week probably before having him. Um, I did a couple 5Ks and ran and then for about three months after him I couldn't do much of do much of anything. And then this got me back into it again so it's been great. I actually heard it about it from another mother when I was trying out a Mommy's and Me music class and then I started attending and I go about three to four days a week now. So it helped me, I got all my pregnancy weight off. <laughs> it's a very hard workout, focusing on parts of the body that you need help with after you have a baby. When you do it yourself, sometimes you could get lost and you like lose track of actually working out. When you are here, she Kara keeps you in line and keeps you motivated and you know keeps you on track. Yeah, I did triathlons and I swam in college, but I didn't work out um, very much while I was pregnant. And I heard about this when he was six weeks old, so about a year ago. And I came for a trial class and, and I loved it. It like saved my life as a new mom, meeting other moms, um, getting back in shape, even just getting out of the house. I've never been good at going to the gym. I always like it better when there's someone yelling at me what I need to do and I just have to follow along. It gives you the motivation to have all the other moms and it's more fun this way, I think. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Having everyone lined up and having the kids watch us, it really makes you keep going and try to keep your form and make sure you do all the reps to make sure that the kids know, you know, we can keep going and we can do it. I think it's good for him to see exercise too and that it's important to me so that hopefully it will be important to him. If you're happy and you know it, you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands.